Okay, folks, so today we are going to cover the inside walls of the bathroom. Um, got all the plumbing done, pressure tested it all day yesterday, so no leaks. Um, everything's covered for safety, and uh, we've got our start of our pieces cut. That'll lay down in here. We'll have to drill some holes in them. And, uh, Like that, we'll stack them babies up. You can see this line right up here. This we're gonna actually drop the ceiling in here just a little bit, and the reason for that is so we can get that exhaust in. I think I mentioned that in another video, but that's what that line is, and it ends up perfect. We can stack seven of these high without having to cut a short run or anything longer. So works out great going around. Uh, we'll get that exhaust fan put in here. This will have a slope over here on this side because of the slope at the front of the trailer. So we'll have to kind of custom fit that when we get there, but it'll be cool. Anyhow, so that's our project for the day is covering that up. And once we get pieces on, we'll come in here. Yes, we have the spray foam, but I think we're going to add a little where the water lines are. Just a little extra safety so they don't freeze by any means at all. Don't know why they would. We had the heater set on 72 last night. We came in here today and we had to turn the heaters off because it's hot. It's hot in this little box. So uh, the insulation works very well. Two small heaters and we're about toasting. So, and it was only what, 23 degrees this morning or something like that? <clears throat> so, very well insulated. But we like to do that just for a little bit of safety. So, when we get all that done, we'll show you that process. We'll show you how it goes, what it looks like when we're done. And then we've got some cool wall coverings that gonna go around the shower and everywhere. So stay tuned. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit the bell so you can see it again. So we're cutting the outside here and what we do is we tape the internal frame of the window on the side of the trailer and we use that as a template to make our mark cut these out. I used a nail embedded blade with the zippy. It stays sharp and cuts this aluminum really nice and neat. We just got to be really careful so it doesn't jump out and scratch your trailer. And now we pop it right out and you have a piece for a window. And just like that, we got a hole. Nice work, sweetheart. Huh? Nice work. <laughs> so just a quick view of how we got our template on the outside. We taped the internal frame of the window and use it to mark with. When I have multiple windows, I'll make a template to use, but this is how we used it. Got it all marked out nice and neat. As I'm cutting with Zippy, you'll see I do the same thing. Give me a, a scribe line to start with. And this way, everything fits nice and snug. I'll leave just a little bit of room for making sure it's plumb and level, but makes a nice cutout. And this is how we do it. Just really careful like. All right, so this is our first window cutting. And as you can see, once we cut through things, we frame it back up so that it's solid. Um, we made a template out there and cut everything from the outside first, came in, trimmed out our insulation, and we're going to go back in here and we'll put foam back in here just like you would any door and window. So we cut our internal pieces, we will do our adhesive and nailing of those. They'll go back in there just like that, and that'll leave your inside, and then we'll be ready to sandwich the window in. So, just one of those, we wanted to make sure that it's solid when we put the window in, so you don't have to worry about it moving and leaking later on. So you can see nothing moving. And that's what we want to do. So we're gonna foam this in, and then we'll show you the window after we get it installed. Talk to you soon. You can see I'm filling all these little gaps. And we like to always do this to stop any transfer of temperature keeping a, the integrity of the insulation seal around everything the other thing you'll see 
is this is a square opening and our window has the curved corners and once we install the window then I will also go back in around the window itself and we will foam in there as well to finish that up to fill in those corners so we don't have an air gap there as well let's try to keep the integrity of the installation intact on every aspect as we do this So I hope you're enjoying these videos of watching us build this toy hauler travel trailer slash RV. Uh, if you'll notice our construction methods are quite different than an RV trailer. And the reason is we want this thing to last much longer than a toy hauler RV. This is not a throwaway model and then just order a new one. This is something that you've designed yourself. We custom build it to what you want so you can enjoy it much longer. So we build this like you're building a home, but in a lighter weight so you can pull it down the road. But the quality and safety and integrity is you know, second to none. We just want this to be something you can enjoy for a long period of time, not like most uh, RVs that you buy and you keep for five to 10 years. Uh, most people only keep them for around five years actually. And uh, this way, it's yours, built the way you want it from start to finish. So that's why you see all the little extra steps that we take, the adhesive that we put in here, the extra staples, and things like that. What are you doing, huh? Yeah. Every time we put anything on these walls, we always want to use this construction adhesive just to increase the rigidity of the uh, project, what it takes. Um, all trailer manufacturers are a little different, and this just helps us to control what they've done. Uh, we don't ever have to worry about our stuff coming loose, no matter what we're fastening to. You can see we're nice and flush here everywhere we're going. So this way when we clamp that uh, new window in we won't have to worry about it. Coming in. Out of power. <laughs> 